Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com. Uh, welcome to part 7, building a GIF viewer using WX Form Builder to create the GUI. And in the previous tutorial, part 6, found that there was a problem with the code cleaner. So we'll just have a look at that. Okay, so here is our code cleaner and there were some problems with it that I just realized in part 6 so I thought I'd cover how to fix it up so what we'll do is we will run it okay so we got the results of the run of the code cleaner now we'll open up the GIF viewer okay this is a process I go through when I'm creating applications. So the main one that I just run that I don't touch, for instance, the frame fix uh, cleaner. So I've got that set up here. So when I run that, the Python shell cell will then display if there are any errors. It'll be written in red. If it's blue, everything's fine. So now I'm looking at the code of the GIF viewer and there were problems that I spotted with the cleaner and that's because we added an event uh, for the the directory picker here is the event okay so we're binding the event the word bind we're binding the event to the uh, directory picker now with the code cleaner this here is the event okay and the event should be underneath here under the event handlers which we add which is part of the code cleaner that we add here we go uh, add widgets call populate if you see here call populate self show that means show the frame and then we got the event handlers where all our events would happen but in this case it's pulled it down the bottom there's a problem with this uh, with the cleaner and also this here this here I like to remove it and the way that we've been removing uh, some of this generated text is start with and for some reason it just doesn't work it won't remove this here which is annoying so I worked out a way that we clean this up so when we look at our code and it's good to be able to read code because if you can read code you can solve the problem and the problem is we're iterating through these various uh, texts starts with to either remove or we bypass what's in the text and we add our own text if that makes sense so the first one is remove the top line and then replace it with the file name if it starts with this then we go L if which is else if the line starts with or or else if the line starts with that sounds better proper English or else if line starts with this then remove everything well we just say pass we don't want to know the code and then lf and then here is our loop this is our loop code our main loop here which will make the program run then we got down the bottom here else anything else just add it to lf code and that's why we have here this here is added after the loop here is the loop else add this to the FM code it's after the loop okay so the way that we fix this so now we're looking at our frame fix cleaner so we're gonna uh, clean up the code so we'll fix uh, the frame okay first step is up here okay we got this one here 
So if it starts with pass, we replace it with the loop. But now we're going to remove that and we put it under here. Right, if it starts with pass and then all of this code, event handlers from here up, right, we want to put it below. What we want to do to show you what we want to do is we want to remove this here, put it under the event handler line. Right, that needs to go across, it's a function, that goes there, then that's all correct, and then we want to remove this code. We don't want to do this manually, we want it to be automatic. That's what the frame fix cleaner is for. So, what we do is from this line here, event handlers, copy this, control, yeah, it always pays to go up to the line because the indent plays around. Okay, so here, here we go to the beginning of the line and paste that. So, is that right? Yep, we put that there. Then we remove this line, the else line, which is the end of cleaning. To the beginning of the line, the else, add that. Everything else, anything else, just add it to the FM code. Now here, we want to bring this up, make it look neater. Then we'll stretch this down because we want to line it up with the for loop. Okay, so we go, I'm doing control, the left square bracket, one, two. So it's lined up with four, and we'll bring this up, one, okay. Also, uh, just undo what I've removed there. We want to remove this, okay? So we'll copy that and then when we're cleaning the code, removing something and then replacing it with nothing, or removing the tabs with four spaces, we'll go here and we go two round brackets in there, comma, so no space between there, paste the code, sorry, if we want to do the whole line. Yep, the whole line. There, and then we just copy this line. We do a replace. This is a clean up after we've iterated through everything. We created the code, we're removing the tabs, putting four spaces, we're removing the M underscore that's attached to all the widgets. We want a clean widget code, replacing it with nothing. And then this one here, we want to replace that with nothing. Okay, looking up here, you have a little asterisk next to the file name. That means the file hasn't been saved. So I do Control S for save. And then I'll just adjust this back where it was. I'll close this. No, I won't save the settings. I'll open it again. OK. Scroll down. Yep, we want to move this under here and then remove that code there all right so now we'll close this we'll press f5 to run it okay that's run 
Now we'll go into this check here in the source file src directory sorry we go in the src directory of our application and we'll open the gift viewer and move it over here and scroll down okay our code is up here and yep we got some spaces they can go under there that's how the code should be save run and it runs okay and I'll just have a look here because for some reason I had to delete two all right, so if I remove that, just experimenting here. I'm very particular about my code, how it looks. Okay, run it. Okay, it's run, it's cleaned up the code, open it, have a look again. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, for some reason it's putting a double line I like to have the events under this title so I know so I know that it's an event handler okay that's it all fixed all fixed that's a minor thing just to remove that okay and yet we need to save that and we run it and it works Okay, uh, so part seven, fixed code cleaner, we've done that. So the next tutorial will be how to add a list box. I'm Darren Williams from FandangleProductions.com. Till the next tutorial, goodbye.